everybody, it's Michelle Barada, and I have the cutest do-it-yourself project today. I can't even stand how cute it is. So I'm in my closet yesterday, I'm getting dressed, and I have this little box that has like hundreds of buttons in it that I've been collecting for years. You know when you go shopping and you get the buttons that are hanging off a jacket, you gotta clip it off, you stick it in a box, and you, you, know, you figure I'm gonna use it later, or one day. So anyways, I knocked that off the shelf all over my closet. So I'm thinking, I gotta do something with the, these buttons. So what did I come up with? I came up with this necklace. How cute is this? I can't even stand how cute it is. And I made a matching bracelet. It is so easy. All I did was use buttons and ribbon. That's it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So let's get started. All right, we're ready to get started to make this beautiful button necklace. Welcome to my kitchen. Why are we in the kitchen? Because the lighting was the best here. <laughs> That's why we're in here. Okay, so let's get started with this necklace. Okay, so remember I told you everybody has a ton of buttons? I put it in a little container here so you can see all my buttons, but I have a huge box of buttons. And you know how you get these things you cut off of your shirts? Um, these are all filled with buttons. So, what we are going to do, the first thing you need to do is you need to pick the buttons that you would like to work with. So, what I did was I put together um, an array of buttons. I kind of lined out what I wanted to use for my necklace. Okay, so you kind of line them up and put it uh, in order of how you think you want it to be. Okay, let me get my glasses on so I can see better. All right, then what you need is you need to get these little collapsible needles. These are really cool because you're gonna add your, um, your ribbon to them in order to weave through here. So the things you need are buttons. You need um, a, like a silk uh, or very um, soft ribbon. And this is about a half inch, maybe three quarters inch. And then you need some other kind of ribbon to go around your neck. And I like the velvet, okay? and then you need uh, a class collapsible needle. Okay, so what we wanna do first is I'd say cut about two, uh, 24 inches, about two feet of the ribbon that you're gonna weave, okay? So now what you're gonna do is I'm going to hopefully get that right in there, okay? I'll put that right through the middle, all right. And then you wanna have a little tail, I'd say, about an inch and a half, okay, when you're pulling through. So you're gonna start with your first button. You're gonna start from the bottom, put it through a hole, and then you're gonna go pull it through and kinda go all the way to about that long. So you're gonna leave, I don't know, is that four inches or something, five inches, okay? Then you're gonna go diagonal and go through the top of the button diagonally, pull it through, Okay, so that's your first one, okay? Then you're gonna get your second one, same thing. Go from the bottom, pull through, cross diagonal, oops, cross diagonal. Okay, up, there we go. And so now you have two on there, see? Like this. And what they're doing is they're gonna flip around until we, when we finish it, they'll all be fine, okay? Because they're gonna have a felt back. So I'm gonna take button number three. Go right there. It's gonna go diagonal. Pull it through, see it's super easy. See, now I have three buttons. Just slide it over close to there. And then what you're gonna do, wanna do also is you wanna you'll wanna overlap I'll overlap them. Okay, so see how I'm kind of overlapping them. Okay, button number four from the bottom. Everything's from the bottom first, then diagonal on the top. all kinds of buttons. On the one like that I'm wearing, there's like a rhinestone button and it has just like a little loop on the back and that's a cool one. Okay. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to do the rest of them here, and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just finished up. I did most all the buttons except for one. This really took about, I don't know, three minutes, but I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch me. Okay, so just as a reminder, you, whenever you're putting the needle through, you go from the back, so underneath, you start from under, and then you do diagonal on the top, okay, and pull it through, okay? And then what you wanna do is you're gonna take, the, take these guys so that the ribbon is on the top, the part going over, not, you don't want it to be under like that, okay? So this is the top of the necklace. So that would be like that. And see how there's a space right here, the ribbon? You're gonna slide that puppy over. You're kinda gonna butt it on top of each other. See, so I kinda, see how it's on top of each other? And this is gonna be the shape of your necklace right here, okay? So now the way we hold this together Oh, first you want to take your needle off so you don't lose that. These things are awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put it over here. So what you want to do is you're going to uh, need some scissors and some felt. And I have some scrap felt left over. And this is going to be on the back of here. So just like on this, well, this necklace right here, you can see the felt. You're going to cut a piece to go in the back. So this is pretty like an, you eyeball this, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of put it on top. You could slide underneath, but since it's actually you could slide underneath, probably easier. Slide underneath, and then you can fix your buttons afterwards. And here's the U. I'm back with a pen. I realized I didn't have a pen. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're kind of going to go uh, on the outside, not uh, just as close as the buttons as you can. It's going to make a U. Okay, it's going to kind of go like that. And you're gonna think, how's that gonna fit? But you'll see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so then grab that guy, grab this. Okay, so now you have a U. Now this is where you kind of eyeball, okay? Now remember, it wasn't right up to the buttons, but you don't want this to totally be visible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not cutting right on the, on the line. I'm cutting in from the line. Can you see the distance right there? It's like a quarter inch. So I'm gonna go all the way around like this okay and so then that's that's a good shape okay that you're gonna end up using underneath here okay then what you're gonna do is the smallest button you have here you're gonna remember that's your size of your button and that's how wide this is gonna be so you're gonna now cut right in the middle here cut that U right in the middle Okay, so now I have a U. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your buttons, and you're gonna turn them upside down, okay? Now they're gonna get all mushed up and upside down and all that kind of stuff. So now the way you want to know that it's upside down is you remember the front is supposed to have this right here, the ribbon on the top? Well, it's supposed to be like this now on the bottom, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip these all around, I have this on here so you guys can see better, but it's really slippery when I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Flip that guy. Around. All right, I think I got them all flipped around. Okay, and see how they're overlapped? Can you see that in there? Some are under and over kind of thing. So all of them are the right direction. So now I'm gonna take this guy, and that's gonna go on here, all right? And this is where you're gonna kinda of check and see where it's gonna be. And as you can see, this is longer, right? So I'm gonna cut a little snip off of there. Do the same over here. Measure it again, in the way you want it to be, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna round that edge, because the buttons are round, they're not square. So you get around that around this one, measure it one more time. You just measure and measure, okay? So that's perfect, right, like that. So now what you do is you take your glue gun, I have my handy glue gun right here, and make sure this is the shape you want again, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put glue, start from one side, 
Let's go all the way around. one little thing of glue right there. I'm going to take this, put it right there, lob it down. Oops, knocked that one. Okay, and there you have it. Just kind of push it gentle like that so it's on there. And then if you have any excess when you flip it over, oh, wait one second, when you flip it over you can trim it. Okay, so now let's see how that is. All right, so we flipped it over, and there's the beautiful necklace. And you can adjust stuff if you think anything's going to kind of move around or anything. You can um, you can adjust it. So kind of lift it up like this and see if something's moving. So like I see this is kind of moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one little dab under there, and I'm going to push that down right there. Just kind of hold it there. Okay, all right, so there's that. Okay, and you could pull these strings off afterwards. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another ribbon, which is the part you see right here, the one I'm wearing. You can kind of see right here. This is the ribbon that goes around your neck. So you're gonna attach the ribbon that goes around your neck to the side of the necklace, okay? So the way I measure it is I took a piece, I put it around my neck, and I kind of went to my bust line, really. That's how I measured it, okay? So that's the size that you want. And I'd say that that's the best way to measure it, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the one end, and we'll start with this one, right here, and you're going to tie it just like a little bow. Tie it right to the end here. It doesn't have to be a bow. It could be a little knot. Kind of don't pull it tight until you see where it is because you want to make sure you slide it down close to the button. Okay, so see how it's right there? I'm going to slide it so it's perfect right there. Then I could tie my little bow. Okay, so there's that one. So I have one side there. Now, see I still keep it together like this. I haven't cut it in the middle. Do another one. All right, tie it around there. Again, don't tie it tight until you've slid it down to the, where the button is, as far down as you can. And you can oops, slide one more. Oops. Let's make this guy into a bow. Okay, so now depending on what how much you want it to be as a bow, um, you know, it's just really your preference if you want a big bow, little bow. So what I do is I like it a little bit of a bow. Okay, so then what you can do is you're going to kind of trim the ends to the desired size that you want your bow to be. Turn on both sides there. And then you have to cut, you want to hold your necklace so it's centered. And then that's when you cut the center of the necklace right here. Just kind of hold your scissors right there and then you know the center. You cut that and that's the end. All right, then you can tighten a bow, put it around your neck, your beautiful necklace, and that's it. Totally easy. Now, I will have all of the supplies I used and instructions on our website at bellabranch.com. There's a link right on, um, somewhere on the screen. And just click on blog and we'll have all the stuff there. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the button above there, comment below, let me know. And um, that's it. All right, thanks you guys. All right, one quick thing I totally forgot. As you can also make bracelets totally easy to make the bracelet the only difference is it's not curved okay it's just straight so when you put your buttons together you're just gonna make a straight piece of felt on the back and you don't have to add another uh, velvet 
a ribbon if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want. But that's it. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Click above the subscribe. Comment below. Tell me you're out there. Bye. Until next time.